you have arrived. Finally. I always pictured you taller. Better looking. You greet all your guests with such terrible manners? Only honored guests. Sunrise is beautiful from up here. I never miss one. Yeah. It's a gorgeous view. Today was supposed to be a celebration. But it has turned into a day of reckoning. You deserve a reckoning. Brought it upon yourself. You're a monster. Perhaps I deserved reckoning. But I am no monster tourist. I simply have the courage to make the difficult decision. I agonized over what had to be done this time. The destruction of my beloved city. I take zero pleasure in it. But I am curious. Through the eyes of a legendary lone wolf, why do you think I would even consider such a course of action? You're wise. I saw what was there to see. I was just like everyone else, tourist. I believed the reserve was salvation. But fate had other plans. When you uncovered that empty hole in the ground, I had to pivot. I spent weeks crunching the numbers. Only one thing became clear. Without a culling, starvation and disease would overtake us all in a matter of months. I had a choice to make. Allow fate to run its chaotic course once again and surrender the entire city to the dead. Or defy fate. Take matters into my own hands. And save a precious few by slaughtering the many. I chose defiance. What you chose was mass murder. I chose the future. The tower as an ark for those with the metal to rebuild a new world. Turning my back on so many people I loved. In favor of pure survival. Can you even comprehend how difficult that is? But none of it matters now, does it? The bells ring. The plan is set in motion. But my victory is hollow. Treacheries everywhere. And I am alone. Where did I go wrong? Tell me. You messed with me. Big mistake. Nothing personal, tourist. For what it's worth, I always had a feeling we would have a chat like this. You and I are very much alike. I ain't nothing like you. You are a survivor. No matter the cost. I am wired the exact same way. For me, right now, that cost has gotten unbearably high. The roots of treachery have dug their way deep into my story choking the life out of me from within. The bodies around the table inside, they were not the first to betray me. One of them poisoned this drink. Their mind corrupted by some movement within my lower ranks. The assassin would not reveal themselves, of course. So my hand was forced. Garrick and May? I considered them family. But their ambition outweighed their loyalty. I learned they were plotting to murder me in my sleep, tourist. Simply because we didn't see eye to eye on how to manage the tower population. Like a fool, I spared them. Thought they would come to their senses outside the tower walls, on the run and alone. It was wrong. And then there was JB, my right hand. There were warning signs early on that the pressure was getting to him that he was on the verge of snapping. But I dismissed them. I 
and loved him like my own son, protected him when others called for his head. And how does he repay my loyalty? He tried to burn me alive and started a war over ideology. Every decision I have made has been in the service of other people, tourists. With the target on my back the entire time. Head on the block waiting for the plane to drop. No more. Given all the shit you've put this city through, I'd say you deserve some stabbing in the back. I'm no monster tourist. Just one of those rare individuals willing to do whatever it takes for greater good. Look out over our glorious city, tourist. Tell me, what do you see? I see death. After death, there is new life, tourist. If you give it the means to flourish, this is the key to the city's future. It unlocks a control panel behind you. There is a button that will turn off the lights, and without the lights, the bells will fall silent. But heed my words, Tories. Letting the bells ring is an act of mercy. The slate will be wiped clean, and only those with the fortitude necessary to preserve humanity will remain and rebuild. They will thrive. But if you silence the bells, you will only prolong the suffering for all. The fate of this city will be sealed. The dead will prevail. I've made my choice. I have paid the price for it. Now, it is time for you to make yours. Give me a key. A demon in disguise. Why am I not surprised? Welcome to Hell, tourist. Well, tourist, looks like you chose to raise the city up on your shoulders instead of raising it to the ground. I guess you could say I'm a bit surprised. Didn't take you for an optimist. Manola ain't out of the woods just yet. Mama may be gone, but the darkness she embraced didn't start or end with her. It's still out there, tourist, deep in the souls of the living, biding its time. Now, of course, there's light out there, too, that spark of humanity. And with a dash of hope, that spark will grow into a rage in the fire and spread to every corner of this new world. All thanks to you, tourist. Finally. 
I always pictured you taller. Better looking. This is the key to the city's future. It unlocks a control panel behind you. There is a button that will turn off the lights, and without the lights, the bells will fall silent. But heed my word, stories. Letting the bells ring is an act of mercy. The slate will be wiped clean, and only those with the fortitude necessary to preserve humanity will remain and rebuild. They will thrive. But if you silence the bells, you will only prolong the suffering for all. The fate of this city will be sealed. The dead will prevail. I've made my choice and have paid the price for it. Now, it is time for you to make yours. Let the bells ring. Well done. You are a servant to the greater good. Like myself. Welcome home, tourist. Tourist, looks like you chose to end this tale in flames. Not the path I'd have taken, but what do I know? I'm just a dead man. No different from all those folks whose fate you sealed by allowing the bells to toll. Mama's new heaven. She saw something in you, Tourist. A kindred spark. I know you like to think of yourself as the lone wolf, but take a moment to contemplate this. She may have been playing you the whole while. Got exactly what she wanted from the only soul she thought capable of taking her place. But you're the one left standing. The one who has to deal with the aftermath. Good luck with that tourist. You're sure as hell gonna need it. We've arrived. Finally. I always pictured you taller. Better looking. Likewise. 